Hey, what is going on guys? This video is going to be a uh, quick and easy tutorial on PC optimizations, uh, more specifically tailored around Rainbow Six Siege, but a lot of things you see in this video can apply to pretty much every modern FPS game. All the applications you're going to see me use in this video uh, are completely free and I'll put the links to them in the description below. So the first application we're going to be working in is Intelligent Standby List Cleaner or ISLC for short. And the first two options we'll have here uh, is this one. You're going to want to make sure this is 1024 and then free memory is lower than I recommend leaving this at about a half of your total system memory. So the next two options we'll have here is start ISLC minimized and start ISLC on user login. Now by enabling these, you basically won't have to keep reopening ISLC every time you start your PC. Next, you want to make sure enable custom timer resolution is uh, set and then you want to make sure your wanted timer resolution is set to 0.5. Next, you want to make sure that your polling rate is at 1000 and then you want to click start. Now, uh, if you apply this and you see that it doesn't say 0.5 at the top here, it might say something like 0.4 or maybe like 0.6 or something like that. If it says anything other than perfectly 0.5, then this can cause a... Uh, performance loss and in the next step I'll have a few command prompt lines that'll basically fix this after a system restart. So after running command prompt as administrator we're going to copy these three lines individually one by one and then we're just going to hit enter. Now when enter the last one you might get an error that is completely okay just type exit and restart your PC and when you relaunch uh, ISLC should say 0.5. Next, we're going to open MSI Util. We're going to want to run this as administrator. Once we are in here, we are going to want to locate our GPU. I have a GTX 1080 and I want to make sure that MSI, this box here, is checked. And I want to make sure enter a priority is set to high. Next, we're going to locate our USB controllers. I have two of them. I'm going to want to also make sure MSI is checked and I want to make sure the enter priority is set to high. Once you are done with these, you could just click apply and close. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our control panel. Here we're going to disable high precision event timer. So we're going to go to control panel, device manager, we're going to go to system devices and where it says high precision event timer, we're going to right click that and make sure we click disable. So in some rare cases, disabling high precision event timer might make your games feel worse. If this is the case, simply come back in here and re-enable it. But for majority of you, I recommend keeping this disabled. For this next step, we're going to want to make sure Siege is running and then we're, we are going to go to Task Manager. We're going to find Rainbow Six Siege, right click it, go to Properties, and we're going to want to go to Compatibility. We want to make sure Disable Full Screen Optimization is enabled. And we want to go to High DPI Settings and we want to make sure Override High DPI Scaling Behavior. We want to make sure this is enabled also. Click OK close out and should be good to go. So the next application we are going to use is process lasso. The first thing we want to do here is go to main, go to I believe active uh, power profile and make sure this is set to bitsum highest performance. After this we're going to go over to options, go to general, go down to refresh interval uh, GUI, make sure this is set to 5 seconds, go to refresh, uh, refresh interval governor and make sure this is also set to 5 seconds. After this, we're going to want to locate Rainbow Six Siege. I am running Vulkan, so it says uh, Rainbow Six Vulkan.exe. We're going to right click this. We're going to go to CPU priority and we're going to, we're going to want to make sure this is set to high. Do not use real time. Um, I'm not quite sure why, but uh, most things that I've seen around, everybody just says use high, don't go any higher. Next, we are going to locate, where is it? UPC.exe. We uh, just like before, we're going to right click, go to CPU priority, and we want to make sure this is set to below normal. Now, this application is a Ubisoft Connect application, and I believe leaving this on normal can sometimes use it, uh, can like cause the application to use more of your CPU than it should, therefore making your game run worse. Um, so by putting this to below normal, uh, it makes it more stable, and uh, you definitely don't want to go to idle or anything below this because uh, it could cause stability issues and basically make your game crash. Once we are done with all this, we're going to go to file, config file, create a config file, put whatever you want, click OK. And then if you go back to file and you go uh, config file and you go down here, you can see all the files that you have. Uh, I have mine set to gaming, so I'm going to choose that one. And uh, 
yeah, once you're done with this, we can uh, close this and we're ready to go. So for the next optimization, we're going to go to NVIDIA Control Panel. We're going to want to go to Adjust Image with Preview, and we're going to want to make sure, use my uh, preference, we're going to want to have this set to Performance. We're then going to click Apply and go to Manage 3D Settings. Once we are in here, we're going to scroll down to where it says Power Management Mode. We're going to want to make sure this is set to Maximum Performance. After this, we're going to go to Change Resolution. We're going to scroll down to where it says Apply the Following Settings. We're going to choose Use NVIDIA Color Settings. And for Output Color Depth, we're going to want to make sure this is set to the highest available. I have an 8 bit monitor, so 8 is the highest one I could choose. And for Output Dynamic Range, we want to make sure this is set to Full. After this, we want to go to Adjust Desktop Size and Position. We want to choose No Scaling, and we want to make sure scaling is performed on Display. Check Override the, the Scaling Mode set by Games and Programs, and hit Apply. Next is G-Sync. I recommend everybody who plays games remotely competitive to have this disabled. This is a great option for single player games and for games that you might get very low frames in. Um, thus enabling this will disable things like uh, tearing and uh, blurriness. But uh, for most people, I recommend just having this disabled. And finally, we can go to adjust video color settings. We're going to use uh, with NVIDIA settings. We're going to go over to advanced and make sure dynamic range is also set to full. Click apply and once we are done with that, we can close NVIDIA control panel. So our next optimization settings, we are going to go to our uh, window settings. We're going to want to go to gaming. We're going to want to make sure Xbox game bar is disabled and we are going to want to make sure game mode is enabled. Next, we're going to want to go over to Graphic Settings. Here we want to make sure Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling is enabled. And here is also where we can basically add applications and choose how we want them to perform. I have all my games obviously set to high performance so they can run at their best. To add a game, you just want to click Browse. And then this is how you get to Rainbow Six Siege. And then I have Vulkan already set so I can use the regular Siege, click Add. Go to options and set this to high performance click save and we are done you can then close this out and uh, on to the next step the last optimizations we're going to be doing is within the game itself we're first going to go to our settings then display we're going to want to make sure we are set to the highest resolution available we're going to want to make sure we are set the full screen we want to make sure our refresh rate is set to 240 hertz we're then going to go over to graphics, make sure NVIDIA reflects low latency is set to on plus boost. We want to make sure most of these settings are set to low other than shadow quality. The reason for this is because if shadow quality gets put to low, enemies will no longer cast shadows, thus making you miss out on free info. Because a lot of times when uh, you know somebody goes to peek a door and they go to peek a skylight, you will actually see their shadow before you actually see them, thus uh, you know netting you a free kill. And then the rest of these, like I said, we want to have on off or low. We're then going to go over to controls. Now, raw input has been bugged in the past. There's a lot of inconsistencies. We're having this enabled, but basically it make your cursor or your mouse just act more random. It wasn't perfect one to one. And I know that putting this to off would uh, make it, it, it would basically fix that problem. But I heard it, the... Uh, I heard they fixed it and then it broke again or something like that so just to be safe I keep mine off and uh, to be honest I think I prefer it anyways. So that is it for this video, um, if you guys did use any of the optimizations in this video and found them helpful whether making your game perform or look better let me know in the comments. If you also have questions leave them in the comments I'll try to answer every single one of you and uh, like and subscribe and have a good day.